Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher, the developer of Control My Joystick, and we're going to take a look at some 3D connection controllers. Here is a Space Navigator. The smallest, least expensive. This is a Space Mouse Pro, and this is a Space Mouse Enterprise. And there's wireless versions of some of these too. And you can see that one had two buttons, and the middle one's got lots, and the Enterprise has a whole bunch of different buttons. And... Um, these are all very good for gaming, but in particular, you want to ensure that you get a controller that has a good wrist rest. So let's look at this one. So this is the Space Navigator. It's pretty heavy, and it just uh, you know sits on your desk like this. It has a button on the left, got a button on the right. No wrist rest though, and this is a problem. Problem is here is when you're gaming, you know, you might be in a dog fight and you have to essentially use the vertical axis and pull straight up on that controller puck, that little cylinder there, you can wind up lifting this entire thing off the desk. And that's not a difficult thing to do. It, it can happen, and this is a problem. So uh, it would be better if uh, it was somehow attached to the desk or you could somehow rest your wrist on it somehow so it couldn't move. So this is the main drawback of this controller. So let's take a look at some other controllers. The next one is the Space Mouse Pro. Now this is a nice one, and this is what I use for most of my gaming. Uh, this is kind of the mid-range one, and the big difference here, you know, it still has the same controller puck, but it has this curvy wrist rest on it. And this thing's pretty heavy, so it sits on your desk very, very solidly. And you can move the controller puck around, and your hand rests on it. And I've got a huge, huge hands, and it sits on there okay. And this is a lot of advantages in that it doesn't move around, and it's very easy on your wrist. Got a lot of buttons on here, and each one of these buttons can be mapped to a function that can be passed to uh, the game. Have the same controller puck here, and uh, moves forward and back and up and down. And now this time, when you pull it straight upwards in combat, you know, with your wrist resting on it, it's going to be fine. It's not going to go anywhere. So that's a good one. The next one is a Space Mouse Enterprise. Again, it has another wrist rest. It's a little bigger, but you know, I don't think it's any better than the Space Mouse Pro for gaming. Um, it has more buttons, which is nice. And uh, it still has the exactly same controller puck. And uh, all those buttons can be mapped. And it also has this LCD display. And I don't have it turned on or plugged in my computer now, um, but normally there's icons will show up there that correspond to those 12 buttons. And so it kind of tells you what each button does. But uh, Control My Joystick doesn't use those icons up there. You can use those 12 buttons, but uh, there's no icons to be used. So, um, so it's a bit of overkill. This is their most expensive one. If maybe you're using it for CAD or something else, it would be a good one. But otherwise, I don't think you, uh, you know, you could probably do just fine with a Space Mouse Pro. Um, your hand sits really comfortably on it, though. It maybe if you have huge hands, uh, it would be a little better because it has a slightly larger wrist rest. So let's take a look at all three of these again. All the same identical controller. They all respond the same, but I'd go with that Space Mouse Pro in the center. Uh, it's the best price, and uh, it's just um, it, it's really good to use. None of these are cheaply built. These are all really solid things, and um, you know, so Space Mouse Pro.